So over here you can see that I have a general project and now let's see how we can navigate the default camera around. So in order to do that, uh, you can see that I'm in my selection tool right here. So if I were to use my middle mouse button and scroll in, you can see that the camera zooms in and zooms out. If I were to click the middle mouse and then click and drag it, you can see that it rotates the camera right here so I can view it, uh, view the overall project from different perspective. If I were to hold sit, and then click and drag the middle mouse button you can see that it pans around the camera and if i were to go around and press ctrl and click and drag it you can see that it zooms in and zooms out smoothly just like this so another thing that you can do is you can expand this out right here by clicking on this little icon and then what you have is this you can go around onto view and then here uh, you have uh, the view options so you can go around and then work around with the focal length. So right now it's 50 mm. So if I want to zoom out, that is just like I would control a camera lens, I can click and drag this and you can see that it really zooms it out as if you're uh, viewing it from a wide angle. You can click and drag it to go inside as well. So you get more like an orthographic view just like this. But to get onto default, I'm just going to stay in 50 just like this. And this is how it looks. So I can go around and then I can use shift, I can pan around and work around with the viewport. So another thing that I can do is I can work around with the clip start. So if I were to click and drag this, you can see that uh, it renders out uh, the object only after a certain meter right here. So in my case, it is starting out in five meters as you can see. So I can just keep it as low as one or 0 0.1 if you really want to go near the object right here. Uh, the other one is the end. So if I were to, let's say, uh, for example, type five, uh, the, uh, the object after five meter won't be rendered out. So I can actually click and drag this to actually go around. And this is how it looks. You can see that as I click and drag this, it fades out the other portion, just like that. So I can just type in thousand right here. And that is how it looks. And that is how you can work around with the default camera navigation option. Uh, to view the objects in different angles and to work around. You can also click on one of these axes to view it from different angles, as you can see. So I can press the X right here and it goes to X angle. I can go around and press this one Y and it goes to Y angle. I can go around and press X, Y and Z and so forth to view it from one particular angle as well. So I can click and drag this again uh, as well. So I can click and drag uh, this view right here to see it from different angle again as well. So I can go around and rotate this around and I can see uh, which axis it is actually facing out. So that is how you can work around with the default camera navigation option inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.